Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday morning, 1054 a.m. here, California time, September 4th, 2024. Latest activity here shows a 2.1 in Hawaii around the Kilauea volcano, also a 4.0 here across the middle America trench here, where we're still seeing a little bit of earthquake activity ramping up. Let's go ahead and check out uh, the area around California, see if we got anything major going on out here today. Uh, look at the 2.5 map and above does show a uh, it looks like another 2.6 here up into the Sierra Nevada mountains earlier this morning south of Lake Tahoe aside from that most of the earthquake activity here from yesterday now of course there's microquake activity out here today but really not looking at anything major going on in terms of any elevated uh, regions a lot of this uh, from yesterday Nevada though Still seeing a little bit of amplification of these quakes here around Goldfield, Nevada, where we've uh, been watching a decent amount of swarming going on here over the last uh, week or so. 184 earthquakes. That's a lot of earthquakes here in the last week alone across this area of Nevada. And you can see uh, a lot of this, there's a fault system that runs through here showing up quite nicely in a linear fashion in terms of the uh, earthquake uh, activity here. No big quakes, just uh, a continued amount of small microquakes occurring underneath this area. Looks like uh, anywhere from a mile down to about almost 10 miles below the surface for some of these earthquakes coming in. Uh, I still believe that's an overall sign of the stress that uh, has recently been uh, building up out here across the west coast. Northern California, a couple earthquakes here from yesterday. That's going to be around the uh, uh, just outside the San Francisco Zoo area, that is on the San Andreas Fault, northern segment here. And um, aside from that, Clear Lake Volcanic Field seeing a little bit of earthquake activity across the area due to hydrothermal operations. And up into the Pacific Northwest, Mount St. Helens. A couple of smaller earthquakes from today and yesterday, but overall seismic activity across Oregon and Washington, fairly minimal. Uh, throughout Yellowstone National Park, let's see here. We've got a little earthquake activity here from this morning. About 3 o'clock uh, this morning here at my time. Seen a couple ones and some twos out there. So we better go see what's going on here from the Yellowstone overview. There it is. I see it uh, fairly nicely. Showing up fairly nicely here on the Norris Junction Station. Um, it's going to be this sequence of earthquakes right here. You guys see all those little lines there popping up? That activity is showing up across the um, other stations here. Maple Creek, Purple Mountain area. Looks like uh, Mary Lake picking that up as well. Joseph's Coat. So a little bit of earthquake activity coming in here. But zooming in here to, the, to this station, Norris Junction, shows uh, what looks like more earthquake activity compared to what the rest of the uh, seismograph stations are reporting there. So it looks like a little intense swarm for a small amount of a uh, time period. Again, around 3.30 to uh, looks like around 6 or so. Seen somewhat elevated earthquake activity for a moment. Uh, but nothing big. Those are very small earthquakes. And again, the largest one is going to be a 2.0. Uh, 2 about 3.31 in the morning. A couple other smaller quakes in there as well. But nothing big for now. Just a little bit of seismic increase there. Uh, Texas area, still getting some uh, movement quakes out in the uh, oil fields. Nothing major going on. Hawaii seen a 3.5 today, early this morning. Let's see where that was at. Looks like uh, just around this upper east rift zone here, Kilauea Volcano. Almost about, uh, looks like a little bit over an hour ago. A mile or so below the surface here. A lot of... A lot of shallow earthquake activity indicative there of some magma still down uh, below the subsurface area, but just not enough for any type of magma intrusion or displacement, and definitely not enough here for uh, any type of eruption for now. A look at the um, the crater area of Lava Lake still shows some volcanic gases here today. A couple clouds out there in the blue morning sky uh, aside from that really no change going on here across Kilauea volcano in terms of uh, volcanic activity 
The overall deformation chart here shows a little bit of decline, a little spike here. I believe that was from that 3.5 earthquake this morning. Looks like it uh, jolted up a little bit here in terms of the inflation. But uh, overall, looks like we're starting to go down a little bit here across the summit area. And it's just uh, uh, a waiting game for this. Quick glance here at the seismograph station right here. Uh, does show that 3.5. Looks like a couple other smaller earthquakes following that event as well. Sometimes it takes a you know larger quake to really get things going here uh, in terms of whether we're going to see a magma displacement or maybe a breakthrough from the sur breakthrough to the surface. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that throughout the day today. See if we don't get an increase in uh, earthquake activity. All right, uh, across the rest of the globe here, some further movement way up north into northern Alaska, 3.2 showing up here, uh, just within the last hour or so. <clears throat> that activity follows a 4.2 here off the coast of Canada yesterday. So things uh, somewhat active up here across the northern end. There's that 4.0 Middle America Trench area. Quite a bit of uptick going on here. Looks like uh, about the Ecuador area southward going to be this region right about here. A lot of uptick going on here across this plate boundary. USGS not showing a, a bunch of, not showing a lot of it at all, not even a, a fraction of it. Uh, they are showing a 4.8 here off the coast of Panama into the, uh, it's a little fracture zone right there between uh, the Cocos Plate and the Nazca Plate here down to the south. But it looks like things are definitely on the uptick here across South America today. Continue to keep an eye on that uh, with elevated movement going on there. A bunch of quakes down here across the Peru Chile Trench in the 3 and 4 range. Uh, the Atlantic Ocean, there's that 5-pointer from yesterday up into the uh, Iceland area. I need to team change that timestamp here a little bit. Let me bring this down to the last 24 hours, probably roughly right about there. So as you can see, it's pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on through the uh, Atlantic Ocean for now, Mediterranean areas, uh, twos out there. Some uh, looks like a little bit of older quake activity from yesterday as well. But uh, aside from that, really nothing major going on out there across this area of the world for now. There's that earthquake from yesterday, 4.9, just outside the Cyprus area. Handful of smaller quakes in the mix as well. Uh, Japan, a lot of older quake here from yesterday. Let's see what we got across the area. Nothing really showing up here for the USGS map. But uh, there are some fours. Again, older quakes from yesterday. Still getting a little bit of activity um, yeah, around the Philippines region. It looks like some threes. A couple fives in there as well outside Manila. Um, but aside from that, generally normal earthquake activity here across the Java Trench. 4.7 around the uh, Solomon Islands area, it looks like. Going to be right around here, Solomon Sea area. Nothing showing up, though, on the USGS map, so uh, hopefully they'll get to it. New Zealand 3.0. Uh, there's a 4.9 Middle America Trench area. Actually, that's further way down south here. That's going to be, uh, it looks like right off the coast here. Oh, what is that? 939, 1039. That, is that another earthquake coming in here? Let me check here real quick. That was at 1030. So looks like there was another 4.9 following that 4.8 just, uh, just about an hour or so ago. So things are somewhat on the elevated activity side here for sure across this region today. 2.1 there in Hawaii. All right, let's take a look here at space weather activity, see if we got anything uh, noteworthy going on overnight. Still got the proton event kicking up here. Um, fairly decent amount, it looks like, across the northern polar region. That uh, will not enhance the auroras. This is just charged protons there shot off from the sun from a couple different flares here recently. Uh, not CMEs, but uh, uh, these protons here can slam into the ionosphere and create some, uh, well, some high frequency communication and low frequency navigation system issues uh, but that's only if you're way up north here into Canada Greenland area or maybe you're down in Antarctica might have some issues there with the communication systems but aside from that uh, 
the rest of us here not uh, don't have to worry about anything as far as any issues go uh, the aurora forecast here looks like there is a uh, well there was a little bit of uptick here this morning for almost to the five range here in terms of uh the um KP index, not for sure exactly where that came from. It wasn't really forecasted. Uh, it is up in the forecast now, but uh, that has passed. But last night this wasn't here, so it just kind of popped up out of the blue. Either way, uh, there's really not a whole lot of auroras in the forecast unless we get some type of surprise events, which are not uh, all that common, and they're definitely not forecasted for now. Flare threat, 25% uh, chance for X flare. M flare at 70. C flare around 99% chance or so. And there are numerous sunspots that are currently facing the Earth. And uh, some of these have uh, a little bit of complexity within their central core. This area looks fairly nice. And down here, I was watching this area, but it looks like it's starting to dissipate a little bit. But uh, we'll continue to ki uh, still keep an eye on this area. Maybe for some flaring. It looks like a newer active region here across the northeastern limb. We'll get a better look at here in the days ahead. All right. As uh, far as severe weather goes, we've got uh, marginal risk out here. Across, uh, looks like, Wyoming area up into the Minnesota region. Tornado threat, non-existent. A little bit of wind. And it uh, looks like maybe a small amount of hail out there as well for the main severe weather factors today. But overall, doesn't look like uh, too much activity stirring up out there today. Uh, Long-term models here. Keep an eye on the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, I don't see, Well, there is some type of tropical system here, but that looks like it's going to be off on the uh, Baja California side. Um, maybe bring some rain to... Uh, Southern California and uh, the Four Corners area. But aside from that, I'm really not seeing anything of any uh, formation, tropical formation going on around the Gulf of Mexico or the uh, eastern portion of the country. So that is good news. It's been a rather slow and uneventful uh, hurricane season for the majority of the states out here. Yeah, we had a, a couple hurricanes here. Uh, but for the most part, you know, for the warm waters and you factor in, you know, all the, the above average sea surface temperatures and whatnot here, uh, it's kind of slow. We should have seen a, a little bit more uptick than what we've seen, but that's good news. These hurricanes can definitely do a lot of damage out here, and uh, it's probably best that they stay away. All right, uh, let's see what else we got here. Seismograph stations look pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on today, at least uh, at the moment. We'll continue to keep an eye on things. And, of course, if anything changes out here, we will uh, jump back on board here and uh, do a quick update. But for now, enjoy your Wednesday. Beautiful day out here in California. But uh, it's, uh, it's only beautiful because I'm sitting here in uh, my computer room where it's 65 degrees supposed to be 107 108 degrees today so i am not looking i, I don't want to even go outside today I'm, I'm done with the heat we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening folks have a good day stay safe